All right, Rob Bush back again. Um, some more interesting uh, findings with the rodent. We got this time, got the pulse width. It is pulsing a coil from a GMC van. It's actually, it's actually pulsing the relay. It seems to work a little better if I pulse the relay and then give that the, the coil the ground. So basically, instead of sending that spark to the plug, I'm sending it through the road in, comes back out the road in, then jumps into the plug, and then jumps out the back to go to ground. Pretty cool. This puts about, I believe it takes about, what, 10,000 volts to jump an arc. So we're putting some pretty high voltage to this uh, coil. Let me uh, show you what it looks like running and some of the other interesting things I found. Um, first thing is that meter is on the AC scale. The two leads are in mid-air. Not really doing anything. Um, we can make sure they're not touching wood or anything. So they're kind of suspended in the air. Now I'm just going to turn this on and the relay is what you're hearing clicking but it's picking up a field and we're and eh, those are about a foot away so 14 volts AC outside of this now that's pretty darn cool I thought here's the spark I don't know if it's really doing anything better looks like a pretty nice spark um, it is a Bosch Platinum spark plug um, so we don't know about that playing more with the magnetics of this but what I did find interesting is that if you take a I got a piece of steel bar I believe it's like 5 16 in diameter it's actually a rod for a GEET reactor and let me see if I can do this with both hands. Where is it? Okay. And I can't find me. Okay. Man, this would be easier if somebody else had the camera. Okay, there. Um, let's back out a little bit. Okay, there's my rod. See that? Then sparks are jumping out of the coil, I do believe. Because otherwise I'd imagine I'd have melted the insulation by now on the wire. Um, wow, look at that, man. I'm able to get it pretty good now. And it seems to be more predominant towards that inside edge. It doesn't really want to do it anywhere out here. But if I straight ground it to it, it wants to jump right in. But it will actually jump an arc. There it is. And for whatever reason, I'm not grounded. I'm not getting electrocuted, so I don't know about it. But another interesting find, meter's still fluctuating, but uh, we'll see, man. I still haven't got anything to spin on the inside of it yet. I tried some magnets uh, from another project. Um, they don't seem to want to do anything in here. Um, I do think they were all facing one way, and maybe that might be the problem. It sounds like the systems. This relay really doesn't like this switching, so we're going to go ahead and shut.